Okay, so the game crashed when I was crossing the bridge. Good game, good game, GG. So as I was saying, there's a chasm, there's a bridge, and then there's an orc shaman, an undead orc shaman. Stand back here! Nobody may disturb the sleep of my master! Wrong. Your sleeper will be wide awake soon. So the... See, so you can try to hit it. Damn! I'm not causing the slightest damage. I need another... Now! You will die! i better get out of here fast. And that's the game telling you to run the hell away. It doesn't really... Okay, I'm getting... I'm getting hit. I'm getting... I am getting hit. So, that thing has a Breath of Death rune. And he is invincible. You can't kill him at all. So the game really never, never really tells you that you are about to get owned. I mean, they did try to tell you a little bit. But they don't really make you run away. They kind of give you the option of running away. But if you don't run away, you will die very fast. I think most people, the first time they get here, they just die. Because <laughs> they don't realize they really have to run. So what the game tells me to run, I'm not going to run. Hey, hey, stop that. And now we're gonna make our way back out again, and all the way back out there's gonna be more enemies. As you might have guessed. And we're going back to Zardus. We can't teleport out because it's a different... Actually, can I teleport out? I don't think I can. We can't teleport out until we get back out to the front entrance and outside into the main world. Huh, there's fewer enemies than I remember. Oh, well, there's a mine crawler. Hey, hey guys. What are you doing? Crawling? Crawling around? What's up, mine crawler? Alright, killed him. And then, oh, hey. My temple guard. Just hit me. Hit me. Good. Hit me so I can hit you. Ah, uh, should I go in the tunnels or should I go above? I don't think it makes too much difference. I just don't remember where the enemies are. I think there's skeletons outside too. Let's see. Oh, hi. Are these stronger than the previous ones? I don't... I got 400 experience from him. Hmm. Don't know. Alright, so come back here. Hey, you. They jump back into you. That breaks your combo. Should I use my bow? Maybe I should. Can I hit them from here? I can try. Nope. Maybe I should try using my bow. I don't know um, how successful that would be. Okay. I'm hitting him. Skeleton warrior. They're gonna try and climb up here, I think. Where are they? I'm not hitting that skeleton at all. Wow. I hit the orc temple guard a little bit. I don't know where they went. They might have gone into the tunnels and they might be coming around the other way, actually.
don't really want to deal with that. In fact, I might just walk away from this. There's really no reason why I should fight them now. Alright, let's just walk away from this one. And drink some potions in case I die between here and the exit. Although we're pretty close. Oh, hey, a skeleton mage. Oh, crap. He's gonna cast... That spell. Got him. And... Out. You can't just run past everybody, I believe. Maybe I should have ran past everybody. Judging by all this. Come on. No. Where's he where's he going? He's trying to jump up, really? Oh crap. Oh hey, the mine crawler's fighting those guys. Funny. That's hilarious. Oh damn, they killed a they killed a mine crawler. Let me just run up and kill the skeleton mage. Okay, good. Uh, by good, I mean... I think it's good. I'm not sure. I'm gonna hit it, hit the, hit the, hit the orc. Wow. This is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I didn't die. I almost died. Maybe that was a bad idea. The skeleton mage would have summoned more enemies. So, I don't know. Alright, I'll we'll grab that off the skeleton mage. And, uh. Grab this off the orc. That didn't really go as well as I would have liked. Let's uh, drink some potions. We didn't die, so that's good enough. We should save too. Also, you can see the uh, the orc has come back. Maybe I should kill him too. All right, let's go back here and kill this orc and skeleton. Wait, the skeleton's not here. Just the orc. <laughs> Serious. Ah, the skeleton is not here. Alright. So we are almost out the front door. Almost. There's still a few more dudes. In fact, there's quite a few more dudes. Maybe I should use a bow. Maybe I should. Is he gonna... He's just running around. He's gonna try and climb up at some point, I think. Can't hit him from here. He's so dumb. Wow, he can't even find his way up here. Did he just go into the tunnel? Seriously, these enemies are so dumb. He's trying to jump up here. Come on, jump up. Jump up. Alright, never mind, don't jump up. So incredibly dumb. Can I kill him? Yes. Well, that worked out. I also don't do very much damage to them with the bow, do I? What's my dexterity? 60. It means that, like, if I'm on the ground and they're charging at me, I can't kill them fast enough. So I really should stick with the axe. I mean, that's really, that's basically what it means. All right, are we home free, or are there some more orcs outside? It appears that we are home free. Awesome. And that's the first visit to the Orc Temple. Wow, wasn't that annoying. Mostly because of all the crashing. I mean, if you imagine 
without, well, I mean, I guess you didn't. I mean, I had to deal with the crashing, you didn't. So maybe you don't have to imagine. But I imagine without the, the crashing, it would have been just fine. It's just that, you know, the crashing just breaks the, uh, the rhythm completely. Every time you start getting into the mood, as it were, it just crashes on you. Anyway, we're out now. So now we can't kill the last orc shaman for some reason. Not sure why the story turns that way, but okay. And if you had bothered to read your journal, you would see that they're telling you Grash Varag Arushal apparently doesn't belong to the undead orc shamans. He is more powerful by far and my weapon doesn't my weapons don't harm him at all, I need a more powerful weapon. They don't actually tell you where to go, do they? Where you're supposed to go is back to Zardus. And Zardus will tell you... Are these looted? They are, right? Yeah, okay. And Zardus will tell you what to do. Need a more powerful weapon. Hey Zardus, what's up? Um, I found a way into the underground temple. I have found a way into the underground temple. You have? That's remarkable. You have become very powerful. Stronger than anybody else inside the barrier. Maybe you really are the man the orcish prophecies told of. Uh, prophecies. Prophecies? What prophecies? Ancient orcish documents written shortly after the sealing of the underground temple mention a holy foe. A holy foe? Someone who shall come to drive the sleeper from our world forever. I am supposed to be the one mentioned in the ancient prophecies? You must be wrong, surely. Maybe, maybe not. I found this strange sword. Show it to me. All right, all right. That's interesting. It has Eurizio written on it. I've heard of this sword. It's a weapon from the olden days, when the human race was still young. The weapon was forged from an unknown material, and there's nothing written about who created it. This blade was said to possess unbelievable powers, but I don't notice any magical aura. Eurizio possessed unbelievable powers? It was written that the owner of the weapon was able to pierce the strongest armor and to overcome even the most powerful of protection spells. How could the orcs get this powerful weapon into their hands? It's claimed that the orcs took it from a powerful warlord. They didn't know how to use it, but they did hide it. But they didn't hide it well enough. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Sixth circle of magic, 40 skill points. I don't think I can actually learn that immediately. But it gives me the option here, that's a bit strange. Is it possible to restore the former powers of the weapon? You need a very strong magical source of power for that purpose. You mean strong enough to detonate the magic barrier with? About that strong. Besides, You'll need a very special magic formula in order to transfer the power. Give me some time, and I'll create the magic formula. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll be hunting around for better armor. These patchwork minecrawler plates have been pierced too often in the underground temple. You should go to my old tower. Your old tower? It sank below one of the eastern lakes during one of the earthquakes. The spires are still visible above the surface. There are still some artifacts inside it. I never made any effort to salvage them. <laughs> How do I get there? I haven't been there since the earthquake, which means you'll have to find a way to enter it yourself. But take this key. It opens a chest in which I used to store some particularly rare artifacts. This guy... He's got some really rare artifacts. But he's... He, he doesn't even bother recovering them. Yeah, I just got these really cool artifacts. I don't care about them. Just left them underwater, who cares? Okay, so we need to go to the tower. It's behind there, I believe. 
I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna get the best armor in the game. Or not quite the best armor in the game. Almost the best armor in the game. But we'll get the best armor in the game soon enough. Alright, let's go. So I, if I don't care about magic, I can just max out my strength and dexterity already. I guess I'll just do that. I mean, usually I will go around the entire game, kill everything I can find to max out all my experience. But uh, not this time, I guess. Not this playthrough. This playthrough, I will settle for the first for the first circle of magic only, <laughs> and not for maxed swords, maxed bow, maxed magic, maxed everything. I don't think I've ever actually maxed everything. I think I have managed once to max sword, bow, and magic though. Kinda crazy, really. There should be a lurker here somewhere. Maybe it's down there? Or maybe it's the second game. The lurker's not here this game. Okay. I keep saying, I. <laughs> I'm thinking like. If I keep talking about the second game, I'm probably gonna have to play the second game as well, otherwise you guys are gonna complain about it. Maybe the look is over here. I keep talking about it, and I have no plans to play it. I think it's longer than the first game too. Um, Wait a minute, where's the entrance? Here. And to dive, I should probably save before I dive. Because diving's really awkward. Let me just save the game quickly.